Question 6. Ligands can be used in medicine and in quantitative analysis. Explain how ligands bond to metal ions to form complexes. Right, so you need to know that metal ions are a positive ion that you're expecting to form. So the ligands that are bonding have to come in with something that can bond to the plus. And what they bring in is lone pairs. Okay, they donate pairs of electrons to form the bond. And the bond that they form is going to be a dative covalent bond. Either of these is, will get you the mark. Okay, you've got DMPS is a ligand that can be used to treat mercury poisoning. Write the molecular formula for DMPS. So that's just asking you, can you use skeletal formula properly? So carbons, we've got one, two, three. Okay, hydrogens, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oxygens, they're all there, one, two, three. And our sulfurs, also there, we've got three. Doesn't matter what order you put them in, but that's it. Okay, possible structure for the Mercury DMPS complex is given a nice one here. Okay, state the term used to classify the DMPS ligand in this complex. Now, this is sneaky because there's actually two of them. Okay, if you look at this kind of here, that's one complex and that's another one that's forming another ligand that's bound bond here. So if we're just looking at one ligand, it is sticking at two points. So that is bidentate. State the coordination number of mercury. Well, mercury is attached at four points, so four. No charge on that. They're not asking for an oxidation number. It's coordinate number. Okay, nicel is an alloy of nickel and silicon. The mass of nickel in the alloy can be determined by quantitative analysis using a procedure in which the ligand, which I'm not even going to see, forms a solid complex with nickel ions. Okay, this complex is collected, dried and weighed. We have our big long name complex and they've done the ground formula mass for you, so that's reasonably nice. Name the type of quantitative analysis. It's all to do with masses, so it's gravimetric for one mark. Okay, it was found that 1.02 grams of nisyl alloy, or nisyl, not sure what they're looking for that one, formed 4.82 grams of the complex. Calculate the percentage by mass. Okay, right. It Reasonably simple, actually, as long as you are careful with, your, with what you're doing. Okay, so our complex weighs 288.7. Okay, of that, in the complex, the nickel that's there, because there is only one nickel, nickel atom in there, is which weighs 58.7 just straight out the data book so this is our proportion so if i have it weighing 4.82 i do this divided by this times by that that will give me 0 0.98 grams okay so that tells me how much nickel was there and now we're looking for a percentage so our percentage is our 0.98 divided by our 1.02 which will give us or or that's what they've got. Okay, and that's it.